Okay, good evening everyone. Um, as we uh, uh, asked to learn Lili Nishmas Yaakov Shapsi bin Yosef Shimon, also um, uh, Marshall Basha asked to learn for Basha Hena Bas Aaron. Uh, we are dedicated by Shalom Fogel, Lili Nishmas Yaakov Zeb and Rabbi Yadaye, Maris Vifkabas, Rabbi Yaakov Yosef. We are dedicated uh, from our Sivya Miriam Bas Rib God and Rabbi Yisab Ben Sian Ben Rabbi Yaakov Zev. By Baruch Ian Lili Nishmas Yaakov Chaim Ben Abba Esther Bas Gittel Avram Ben Shmuel Akain Yaakov Yemanski uh, for our curse our type to the Rav and our Zoom family and Nachas from children and grandchildren also A B Spry Nachas from children and grandchildren and Ed Sala from London and Joshua Rosenberg a virtual Talmud. Uh, we are uh, joined here this evening uh, by Baruch Ian and uh, Saba. We're joined by uh, Mel Zachter and Irving Fishbaum, Dr. Udell, Shalom Fogel, uh, Amy Spry, uh, Yisrael Fisher, Menachem Yemansky, Eddie Chazan, Aaron Swade, Ben Sian Cohn, Yitzi Fuchs, Avram Rezepkowitz, Yeshua Shmuel Eisenberg. Yitzi Muller has just joined us, David Helfgott on Kalalashin. Uh, and uh, we are holding, let me review, since we're going to ask a steerer with Rav and Rav Nachman, so let's review the case that we had yesterday, an unusual case. What happened is, is that uh, <coughs> Mel uh, said to Irving, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> what are you doing in my house? So Irving says, what do you mean what am I doing? I'm living here in the outer rooms for the last three years and you didn't protest. So Mel says, well, I didn't protest. I was living in the inner rooms and I was passing in and out and that's why I didn't protest. You're my guest. Why should I protest? So Rav Nachman uh, sided here and this is important to remember. Rav Nachman sided here with the Marikama, with, Ma, with Mel. Rav Nachman sided with the Mar, Marikama. And he says, uh, you know, uh, Irving, if you want a chazaka, zilbror achiloscha, prove that you were in the house without Mel in the inner rooms. Uh, Rava says, no way. Rava says, Irving is in the house three years. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, he has a chazaka, and if Mel claims that he was in the inside, and he wants to take it now away from Irving's chazaka, so it seems to be that Rava over here is the champion of the present occupant. That's, that's, that's what Rav Nachman is, the champion of the Marikama, and Rava is the, pre the, the champion of the present occupant. So now the Gemara asks, as we right away quickly start two lines from the bottom of Dafchav Tesamid Beis, Virami de Rava de Rava, we have a contradiction, Rava and Rava, Virami Rav Nachman and Rav Nachman. Listen to this interesting case. Dahu da Amalei Lechavre, what happened over here is, <coughs> is that uh, Nachman tells Yitzi, I am selling you all of the property that formerly belonged to the house of Bar Sison. That, that's, that, 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 that's what Nachman tells Yitz. He tells him, all the property formerly owned by Bar Sison that I bought from him, Vazvinolach. Now, there was a nice pickable court. There was, a, there was a very nice pickable court that was known as the Bar Sison Arena. So, Havi Ahi Ara, there was a pickable court. To have a mikre the Bay Bar season. It was called the Bay Bar season arena. Amal so Yitzi said, oh, I got me a pickleball court. You should see how happy Yitzi is. He got, he got himself a pickleball court. 
It's very, very, today you can make a lot of money on a pickleball court. So Nachman says to him, not so fast. Holav the bay bar sisini. This is not from the lot that I bought from bar sisini. This is, this is not from that lot. It just happens to be called the bay, the bay bar sisini arena. The kruyehu the mikre the bay bar sisini. Now, so also the coming to Rav Nachman. Now remember, Rav Nachman in the first case was the champion of the Marikama. So Rav Nachman thought Rav Nachman would champion him. But no, Ukma Lakach. He said, no, no, it's it's Yitzis. <laughs> it's Yitzis. It's known as the debate by season arena. Amalei Rava, so Rava here says, what do you mean? Dina Hachi? Is it is 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 that the rule? If Yitzi wants it, he should have to prove that it was really from the lot of the Bay by Season and not just randomly called the Bay by Season Arena. Dina Hachi, Hamaytzi Chaver Olaverai. So the Gemara says, "Wow, Kasha de Rava de Rava." Here, Rava champions Nachman, the original owner. In the first case. Uh, Nachman champion uh, Irving, who was the present occupant. And Kasha Rav Nachman had Rav Nachman. In the first case, Rav Nachman champion Mel, who was the uh, Morikama, and told Irving Zilbra Rachiloska, go prove that you were occupying it without Mel being there. And here, Rav Nachman champions. Uh, 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 Yitzi and says he could keep the arena. So the Gemara says, the Rava, the Rava, Lekasha. Rava on Rava, it's not schwer. Rava is very consistent with Over there, in the case of the Debei Bar Sison arena, uh, Yitzi has the arena now, you know, he, he took hold of, uh, excuse me, um, the other way around. Uh, Nachman has the arena, and uh, Yitzi wants to take it and claim it is of the property of the Bay Bar Season because it's called the Bay Bar Season, so he has to bring a riot to take it away from Nachman. Hacha over here, since Irving occupied the outer rooms for three years, he was there, and if Mel wants to prove, if Mel wants to claim he was in, in the inner rooms, he's going to have to prove it. You know why? Because the, the claim that, that Nachman says, it's not the Bay Bar Seasons, it's just called the Bay Bar Seasons. That's not a good claim. Here we make the cell contingent on that which is known as being the Bay Bar season, and it's called the Bay Bar season. Then, 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 then Yitzi is going to have to prove. I mean, Nachman is going to have to prove that it didn't come from the Bay Bar season. So the Rav Nachman, the Rav Nachman, Lami Eloikasha, Kevin the Amalei the Bay Bar season. Since he told him any property that's the Bay Bar season. Oh, me carry the Bay Bar season, and it's called the Bay Bar season. Then Nachman is going to have to give big proof that this didn't come from the Bay Bar season. You know, it's not like the Bay Bar seasons are you know uh, growing on trees. A lady day Rami Legluya, he will have to reveal the love the Bay Bar seasony. Avalacha, but over here, over here, I I know that Irving is in the outside rooms. He has a chazak. The Chazaka replaces a star. Even if Ir Irving had a star, we would tell him authenticate the star. Bring witnesses to authenticate the signatures on the star. Avalacha lo yehiyala denokit shtara. Mi lo yamrinon le kayim shtareich. Authenticate the star v'kum benich say it. Only then take hold of the property. Here too, yeah, you have a Chazaka. But you have to... Prove that that was an exclusive chazaka. Prove that Mel wasn't in the inner rooms, and then that's a good chazaka. It's like authenticating a star. Now, next case. Just getting on the way over here on a beautiful.
on a beautiful Thursday evening, where again we plan to have a triple crown here this evening because we plan to do a chok tonight. So again, another triple crown. Uh, I also want to say that uh, I'm wondering why the... Uh, oh, I see. That's Michal. So nobody is in the shul? That's a disaster. Nobody is responding. I wonder what Ruvain Shannon is doing. Um, I don't hear you, Michal. Uh, he's going to use the excuse that now he's a married man. I know, I know all these excuses. Yeah. Um, the, uh, now. Now here, A.B. says, here comes Shelley Zeitlin for our 25th Zoomer of the evening. A.B. says to uh, Michal Avram, he says to him, and he's starting up with a chasen, but okay. My boss by Besa. You know, what are you doing in my property in the pines? You know what? What are you doing? Maybe he has a house in the pines, you know, in, 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 in the country. What are you doing in my house? I'm a lay. So Michal says, what do you mean? I bought it from you. And I used it for three years. So A.B. said, no, 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 no. I'm a lay. I was abroad and I was engaged in business. So your chazaka doesn't count. And you knew I was abroad. I'm a lay, so, but uh, Michal Avram said to him, I have witnesses. Each year you came back 30 days in order to uh, do some trading. I'm a lay, so he said, no, no. During those 30 days, I was extremely busy, busy with my business. I was busy with my business and uh, I didn't have time to hear about that you were in my house. Otherwise, I would have issued a mecha. And therefore, you should know that since I was busy, you should know and you should have kept the paper. Says the Gemara, the argument of A.B. is valid. It's a valid, it's a valid argument. It's a valid argument. Um, I'm a rava of an inish to call tos in yoyme tarid b'shuka. If a person comes back 30 days just to ply his trade, he's very busy, and therefore he can't be expected to know what's going on with all of his assets. And Michal Avram should have kept the paper. If he didn't kept the paper, he lost out. As we welcome in Avram Sheps, a Yehuda from Yerushalayim, Shelly Zeitlin, who's uh, paying us a visit, Baruch Hashem, three lines from the bottom. Of Daf Lamed Amid Aleph, how would Amalei Lachavre? So again, Ab says to Michal Avram, "My boy is by Aru. What are you doing in my land?" Amalei. So Mechir Michal Avram says something else. Amalei Miplanyo Zavinta. I bought it from Rabbi Kranz. The Amali the Zavna Minach who told me that he bought it from you. Now, over here, Michal Avram doesn't have a chazak of three years. Uh, so, so what, what does Michal Avram say? He says to, he says to Abi, I bought it from Michal Avram, I bought it from Rabbi Kranz, who bought it from you. Um the so Amalei, so Abi tells Abi tells uh, Michal Avram, Rabbi Kranz stole it from me. And just, I just want to set the record straight. Rabbi Kran stole it from me. You admit that you bought it from Rabbi Kranz. You admit that it was mine because you said, I bought it from Rabbi Kranz who bought it from you. 
So get out of here. I don't even have to deal with you. You don't have a claim. Amalea, I love Kamaitis. Don't you admit that this is my land. And you didn't buy it from me. Zil, go away. I don't even have to litigate with you. You, you, you don't have a cheskes gimel shadim. You don't have any proof. You don't have a shtar that you bought it for me. And, and, and Rabbi Kranz, he stole it from me. I'm a Rabbi Dina Kamale. That is, uh, A.B. is within his rights to make this claim. Now, let's move on to the next case. Ha'udamale l'chavre my boy is by Ara. Here, A.B. says to Michal Avram, what are you doing in my land? Amalei miplan yezvine. Here, here, Michal Avram has a little bit more of a claim. He says, I bought it from Rabbi Kranz. Vachalte yishnei chazaka. And I'm here already in the land for three years. So Amalei, so uh, A.B. says, okay, but plan ye gazano. Uh, Rabbi Kranz is a thief. So you bought it from a thief. So buying it from a thief is meaningless. Amalei, so but here Michal Avram has a very good time on A.B. He says, well, Isli Sade, I could produce witnesses. Da'asoi im l'chebach. I came and asked you, A.B., should I buy this land? Vomit Lee, and you told me Zil's of it. Go ahead and buy it. Now, if it was stolen from you, why did you tell me to go ahead and buy it? So listen to what A.B. says. You know, every man is out for himself. A.B. said, you know why I told you to buy it? Because Rabbi Kranz is a tough customer. Rabbi Kranz, you know, he has a little armory in the house. You know, he packs a machine gun. So, you know, you, you know Rabbi Kranz flies planes. He, he, he might have a bomber. I don't know why I'm dropping a bomb on my house. You know, then, 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 then. I'd rather use Rabbi Kranz sell it to you and then I'll get it from you. Um, it was easier to deal with you. It was hard to deal with Rabbi Kranz. I'm a Rava. So Rava says, Dina Kamale. So he says, Well, this sounds like a machloikis in Ksuvis between Admain and the Chacham. Rabbi? Yeah. Isn't that bad advice? Yeah. yeah he, he, might have to, he might have to clap your atznura. You're right. Look naive, you're stealing. He, he might have to clap your atznura. Not look naive. He might have to clap your atznura. Okay, we welcome in, finally, we welcome, oh, also, Rich is not in shul either. Uh-oh, I'm afraid, what's going on with Ruvain Shannon? What, what happened to him? Oh, Ruvain, Ruvain's trying to uh, get in at home. Uh, unfortunately, the, the laptop, the, um, the battery died, and I don't know how to, um, what, what exactly is to be plugged in to recharge the battery. Uh, I, I know what the cord is. I'll be, be there uh, starting Sunday night, and I'll make sure it's plugged in. Well, the only problem... There, there's cords that should be plugged in every time and not wait until it runs out. But in the last few days, you guys haven't been hooking it up. But there, there's a cord that runs back there that plugs right in to the unit and will, will charge it right up. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll run by there uh, maybe later. i got to go out for a minion tonight. And I'll uh, just plug it in so it's ready to go. Oh, uh, no, you, d you don't have to do that. As, as soon as you plug it in, it'll turn on. So don't, don't no, make but it, it needs to be charged. So I, it should, I, be, I it should be charged up because the, 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 it, it is also Matzah Shabbos. A lot Matzah Shabbos. Um, I'm going to just plug it in, Rabbi, and it'll be ready to go. And, okay, uh, okay, very good. Thank you. Um, maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to put a piece of tape there. Um... Okay, now, um, so anyway, good to see you, Rich. Um, so says the Gemara now, it seems to be that this that we say, that we assume that, the, that A.B. just, he's not admitting that it belonged to Rabbi Kranz. He just wants to, it's 
more easy for him to litigate with Michal Avram than it is with Rabbi Kranz. So this seems to be Admoin. It seems to be like Admoin in Mesechtus Ksuvus. Ditnan ha'oyrer al asada. If, let's say, um, A.B. says that a field is his, but he signs as a witness when Rabbi Kranz sells it to Mechal Avram. The Chosim Alea Ba'ed. Admin Admin says the fact that he signed as a witness doesn't prove that Rabbi Kranz owned it. Just Hasheni Noyachli, you know, Rabbi Kranz has a, you know, bombs in his, in his plane, and it's easier for me to deal with Mechal Avram, Arish and Koshim, and I don't want to deal with Rabbi Kranz. While the Chachamim, I mean, the Chacham say once he signed on the Shtar, Iber Esachuzay. So it seems to be that that which we say that A.B. could claim that he just wanted to get it out of the hands of Rabbi Kranz, that's only according to Admain and not according to the Chachamim. So the Gemara says, no, Afilu Tamer Rabbanan. It could even be going according to the Chachamim. But A.B. won't do as much as a Maisa. If he does a mice, if he signs as a witness, then that's an admission that it belonged to Rabbi Kranz. Hosim Avod Leib Maisa. Avod Hacha, over here he just said, yeah, it's a good idea to buy it from him. Dibura, it's just words. Avod Inish, the Mikre Vamer, he'll say just words in order to make things easier for himself. Okay, two lines from the wide lines on Daf Lamed Amid Beis. Avod Amalei so here, Ab says to Michal Avram, "My boy is by Ara. What are you doing in my land?" Amale. So Michal Avram, getting to sound like a broken record. Amale me planias I bought the land from uh, Rabbi Kranz. Vachalti shnei chazaka, and I had it for three years. Amale. So he says, "Planya gazlano. So and so is a thief." Amale. So, Bichal Avram says, "Vo isli sade de osis beurta." I came in the night. Vo um, amritli, you came in the night. Vo amritli, zav zavna nihali. I have witnesses that last night you came to me and asked me to sell the land back to you. Now, if it was stolen by Rabbi Kranz, why did you ask me to sell the land back to you? Amalei, so A.B. says, you know what? I, I, I'd rather pay money and avoid litiga- litigation. So that's what I thought last night. If you would have sold it to me, I would have just given you the money. Amalei, Amina, Izvin Dinoi. I'm going to buy what is mine. Or others learn, Izvin Dinoi. I'll buy to avoid litigation. Um, Rava, Rava says that's a, a, a plausible claim. Of an inish dinay, a person might buy back what is his in order to avoid Bezdin. You know, people don't like to go to Bezdin. There's a uh, well-known story that Rabbi Ruvain Feinstein lost his chasana money, the money that he got as gifts from a chasana, which is very important for somebody that starts a career of learning, he lost it because somebody uh, took it from him, and rather than going to a dintaira, he just walked away. He didn't want to go to a dintaira. Now, there's nothing wrong with going to a dintaira. It's much worse to get into fights. There's a reason we have dintaira. That's that's part of part of part of to go to mishpat. But having said that. Uh, a person would sometimes spend money in order to avoid going to litigation. And I want to point out that we have 31 Zoomers here tonight, even without our Chaverim Marshall and uh, Mark Frankel missing them already uh, three nights in a row. It's not the same. And um, we also have to remember that we're all learning for Shimon Yehuda ben Gittel. Also, I saw on the chat today, 
uh, a comment by Barry Cement. We really want to get Barry back. Pinchas Menachem Ben Leia. So anyway, the Gemara tells us the last case of the evening. my boys by Ara. Michal Avram, what are you doing in my land? That's what AB says. Amalei Miplan Yezvina, I bought it from uh, Rabbi Kranz, Vachalte Shnei Chazaka, and I uh, used it already, Shnei Chazaka. Now here, he says something which might be an ambiguity. He said, I used it for Shnei Chazaka. Now normally, that means I used it for three years, but, but note, Michal Avram didn't say I used it for three years. He says, I used it for Shnei Chazak. Amalei von a I am holding a document. This is what, now this is what A.B. says. Because, because remember, Michal Avram says that he bought it from uh, Rabbi Kranz. But A.B. says, well, the kid in the Torah, I have a, a document, the Zovna Lemine, that I bought it from Rabbi Kranz, Ho'ar Boshnei, four years ago. So if I bought it from Rabbi Kranz four years ago, and you are occupying it for three years, so then you bought it from him when it wasn't his anymore. So here... Michal Avram, now remember, you can't change your claim. Kevin Shehigid Shuvayna Chayzer Umagid. You can't change your claim. But Michal Avram said, I didn't say I used it for three years. Amalei mi savit shnei chazaka. You think I used it when I said shnei chazaka? You think I meant tlas shnei kamina? You think I meant three years? Shnei chazaka tuva kamin. I'm in the field for many, many years. We're going to see that he claims that he was in the field for seven years. And therefore, since he was in the field for seven years, his, if, if there was a star by Rabbi Kranz four years ago, he preempted that by having it three years before the star. So Amar Rava, Rava says that is an acceptable claim. Because when a person says Shnei Chazaka, it doesn't necessarily mean three years. It means years of possession. Amar Rava, of an inish to correlate with Shnei Tuva, you could call many years Shnei Chazaka. But, Vahani Mili Da'ach Sheva. That's if he says, I used it seven years. Oh, if I used it seven years, the star that Rabbi Kranz sold it to, to A.B. four years ago is preempted because before that star, uh, Michal Avram occupied it three years before without any protest. The Kodem Chazaka the high, because that means that uh, Michal Avram uh, had it for three years, uh, the star of Michal Avram. Aval Shis. But if he only had it for six years, that's not good enough. Because if he only had it for six years, what are you going to say that uh, Rabbi Kranz didn't protest? Riding a star after two years of Chazaka is the biggest mecha. There's no bigger protest than taking riding a star and selling it to someone. Aval shis, ein loch mechal g'day l'mezu, there's no greater protest, and therefore if Michal Avram actually owned it, he should have paper that he owned it. And therefore he doesn't have paper that he owned it, and therefore it's not a good proof that, uh, the, that the land uh, was his. Um, okay, now, first of all, Daf Yomi on Matzah Shabbos is huh. um, does anybody have a ch schedule with them? Rich, you have a schedule? Yeah.
Is Rich still here? Yeah, what time is Dafyami Matzah Shabbos? Rich, look at the schedule. 8, 8, 845. Not 845. Oh, wait, 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 that's weekdays. Uh, 1035. Uh, that's what I thought. I made it 10 minutes early. Okay. So, uh, Dafyami Matzah Shabbos is 1035. Dafyami Matzah Shabbos is 1035. Now, Rabbi said, we're going to do the Mishnah Yaimis.